welcome welcome back to our second edition of our informal interview with our friend Bart Karakatunyan and um, I'm so happy to have him here Tunyan yes uh, lovely <laughs> so last time we were talking about uh, a very brief introduction to what uh, Paida Lajin is um this time we uh we could start to dig a little bit in into it so the first question i thought to uh, to go with is uh for you barrett what what pie de la Jean actually did for you if it's not a too big one it is a huge one but i'm gonna try and narrow it down as best i can um put it this way it it um a lot of emotion surfaced. Uh, I'm talking like within a few days of not being overly intensive with the program, but um, I noticed that things that were regressed within myself, even things that I, I thought I wasn't clinging on to, like certain mem things that happened in my early teenage years and even much younger, 10, 11, 9, 10, 11, which I was still holding on to. Suddenly it's a little bit emotional. And I and my partner and I, we, we, we kind of exchanged and I said, wow, I'm, I've been holding on to this. And then I kind of released it. And one after the other, domino effect. So releasing this, releasing that, releasing this, releasing that. So cutting long story short, then I began to feel an air of calmness that I've never felt before. So, and that calmness and solitude helped me to most probably reactivate the, the computer and the feedback I got immediately was like people began to notice a difference in me. So I'm getting feedback from people I interact with within my circle and so-called strangers as well. So, uh, you know, uh, there have been some subtle changes, but overall phenomenal changes. And I had the ability to feel people's energies better and almost to the point where one day I was in, in, in a, um, a, a shop and I saw somebody in agony and uh, I confronted him. Normally I'd be a little bit reserved, but the ego had kind of diminished as well. And uh, I went it and I said look you're in pain and he said how do you feel it and I said if you've got a few minutes I can relieve you of some of your tension and I did so and the guy said what is it that you're doing and I said Haida and he said wow then I gave him you know a bit more detail as to what it actually does and I think he was really taken by that and we became really good friends so I actually made really good friends you know um you know it's like when when you kind of relieve people of their attention um they, they feel good so it's it's really uplifting yeah i, so, I tried to sneak in because yeah, the, uh, the, 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 the funny thing the funny thing is that by the lajin one thinks uh, especially by the one thinks to something extremely physical and uh, and what you were talking about until now was everything but anything physical at all so um that's that's pretty interesting and and uh, and it it says to me that that uh, that's not so much uh not just some effects physically but uh but mainly we could say uh something that has something to do with other aspects would you eventually confirm and expand a bit into this yeah, Dari, I mean, at the end of the day, fundamentally, it's uh, when you begin to understand the, the essence of being in your um, element, it's, it's a wonderful feeling because there is such a beautiful transparency. And um, I wasn't one for wearing a mask. I don't mean the COVID-19 mask. I'm talking about people have this false pretentious protective layer that they use uh, because they're a little bit fearful of uh, 
being very open, uh, but that that 100% uh, diminished. And this openness really helps raise the other people's uh, frequency when I'm, I'm in their company. Because I don't hold back, um, you know, um, and, you know, as much as I, I don't go into the small talk of things, I just get straight to the nucleus. And example I gave of the person, the total strangers that I've met, um, I just begin to feel the, the person's energy. Uh, and um, yeah, it's 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 wonderful when you when you when you have that ability um, to uh, rid people of, of their emotion. And this uh, technique is such a simple technique that it's too simple to be almost true. Uh, but, you know, I, I urge people to, to, to really give it a try and, and see the results because the results are pretty immediate. Um, and, and the layers just come off you know, uh, the emotional and the mental blockages. And fundamentally, what happened over a rolling, let's say, six months to a year, I began to understand the essence of why I this, which is, uh, I think, paramount to every living being on, on the planet to, to know their, their, their soul perspective on life. So that is weight in gold in terms of knowing why you exist is just the, the cherry on the icing really you know um and you know I, i'm i'm you know we will dario we, one day we will have the opportunity to take on calls as well in the future whereby we, we will invite people to ask specific questions as yeah well. sure i but mean now we, we are trying to give a, a, yeah beef, a bit of introduction yeah. to, talking about this because you know, you're partially touching now good. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking like uh, to try to quantify in the time uh, how how could you say how fast did you did you see the first effects when you started doing it or how well, the effects are like in like minutes you get the look the relief that you get when there's tension from within uh, that begins to surface within minutes of practice over a period of time, things that are really regressed in concrete, that will require a little bit more time and patience. But um, I've been practicing for three years, but I would say the last six months have been pretty impressive in, in terms of my um, awareness of exactly what is happening around me and when I come to you know, in contact with uh, a person I've never met before. I have this ability to feel uh, their emotional, uh, mental or spiritual, uh, physical, whatever conflicts that they might be having. And I don't get an ego trip out of it, by the way. And I think that's the hallmark of phenomenal breakthrough because I don't want a reward for uh, my efforts. Uh, my, In fact, if my reward is your relief if i can uh, rid you of your whatever suffering it is that you're suffering uh, that for me is the high life light of the whole procedure that uh, that is because the universe as you most of you know uh, when you when you set your boundaries unconditionally then you you're not looking for rewards the rewards come automatically and that, that's been, um, yeah, the highlight of my life, really, you know. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's, it's great fun. Great. Fun yeah, I, I think yeah. that um, next time we could uh, start touching into um, how to approach by the Lajin and eventually introduce into uh, to starting by, by, your, by yourself, could say. Uh, and uh, and otherwise maybe joining a, a workshop we already are out of time of if, if in in those 10 minutes that we try to to stay to to break things down 
So I would say again, uh, Barrett, thank you very much for for this wonderful opportunity and uh, looking forward for the next one. It's great. Dario, it's, it's always a pleasure to be in your lovely company and uh, look forward to our next session. Great. Thank you very much. Ciao, ciao.